We'll, however, take this off. I'm also going to admit that I managed to not bring gloves, which won't kill me, but... You are so supposed to wear gloves, you guys. <laughs> Normally, there would be gloves. Normally, there would be gloves. Um, just because I'm being so bad about the gloves, I'm going to be appropriate with this. Here's some gloves. I oh, we got some gloves. What you, wow, Leo rocks. Tony, <laughs> Tony Starlight Room, man. Okay. So this is the reality of it. I don't want to give you the idea that this stuff is okay to breathe in. I've breathed in a shit ton of it, but it's not okay. So we are going to start with our herd here, guys. And I'm only going to do half at a time. I'm going to do half at a time because it's the small batch. I'm going to make sure everything ends up getting appropriately wet. So I may not need this water at all. Generally, I would only generally I would only need a liter of water. But in case the room temperature or the fact, and that's important, something I didn't mention, you guys, is that the temperature of the day is huge. So while we were in Colorado, it was really moist in the morning, but by the afternoon it was super hot, and we had to add water to our mix because the sun was sucking up the water. In the morning, when it was damper, we had less water. So you're constantly adjusting and this is why I don't say you know attempt your first project by yourself you want somebody who understands when more water and so on and so forth so anyway I'm gonna now put in about half my lime and it's this lime which is the whole reason for all of this gear that I'm using and the gloves you're good it takes a village brother okay so we're gonna do some gloves here and about half the lime will go in and you'll watch. Anyone who's close to me is gonna breathe this in. That's why I have all these other masks, but, and it isn't good, it isn't good, and it has a taste. By day three of hanging out with this stuff, you've, you've got some rashes, and that's if you're not even sensitive. So now I'm gonna add half the water. It's okay for me to do this part because I'm doing half in a small batch. Normally we would just add about half the water to the herd first. And then I'm just going to mix it all together. And again, I'm, I'm mixing it in. I just want you guys to be able to understand me. Oh, mine is so not tasty. Um, I'm mixing it in here. And you like you were mixing cake batter, guys. You want to get into the corners. You want to make sure that you're, every single thing, all the cellulose is being mineralized. It really get, makes it easier, the concept of what we're trying to do here, when you just call it the mineralization of cellulose. You want to cover every single inch, every square nanometer needs to be covered in the lime in order for the hemp feet to do its, to do its magic job, because it's lime that's creating that magical science. Science! Science! Okay, I'm gonna add in the other half of my hemp. Now I am gonna put the other half of my water in first. Get that nice and wet. Now I can smell that. I'm gonna hold off getting it all in there. And then I'm gonna mix that all together before I put in the lime. Can I take a picture inside there? Oh yeah, please honey. Of course, we'll get a prettier one here. Once it gets a little darker, feel free to check it out. And I keep reaching in from the bottom. Again, this is no different than a brownie or a cake batter. You are wanting to mix it all up, no clumps, and get all of that cellulose mineralized. I think I see that it's quite dry. I'm going to put the rest of my water in before the lime. Keep mixing that up. We really want that hemp to soak up because it has to set right. And now I think I will put in the rest of my lime. Get another big puff of lime here. Can't wait, huh? <laughs> yeah, rats in California get cancer from that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's so much less caustic than horrible concrete, but it's it still ain't good. And where did you say that is the easiest place to get the lime? Well, the easiest the place... Or was it no, the N? Yes, the type N would be Graymont. The type NHL5 would be limes.us, but... 
The pre-made binder is less expensive than getting those two shipped to you. And for the pre-made binder, I would get that from hemp-technologies.com. And there, that way you, you know exactly what you're getting. It's much easier and it's much less expensive than making your own. Okay, guys, I am gonna take this off just because I can't see very well. And what I have here is an incredibly matted color. So, because we kept some of the other hempcrete in there, so I'm gonna add quite a bit of water to it because I've done this enough times to know it needs quite a bit more water. And I'm just going to keep going until I find that shine, that <laughs> sheen that I know I need. It's getting there, but it's not there yet. Oh, and it's going to start to smell so good. It has, it has come to that hempcrete is like one of my favorite I smells. My business card when I get done. <laughs> and I, it's the lime mostly, but mixed with this beautiful farm smell. Um, and yeah, I just, I love it. I, I don't know what to say. I, I want everyone to stick their nose in it when I'm done, because it's a good business. It smells like Iowa. Yes. And a lot of people say, you know, um, that it smells like that when they just smell the herd alone in large amounts, palace of it, it smells a little ammoniated, um, like even fermented, but it's not. That's just the smell of hemp herd, and it used to be a very familiar smell in rural communities across America, and it's a smell that we're going to need to get used to and then love again. We're here. Oh. Yeah. Want some more water? You know, I think we're getting there actually. It's got a decent shine to it. I just need to make sure that it is appropriately mixed. And then I'm going to do the uh, snowball test for consistency. I don't think it's snowball ready yet. Well, we're going to check it out. I think we may also need some more. I made more. a lot of snowballs in my life. Yeah, <laughs> you have, honey. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yep, let's get a little bit more in there. Thank you, honey. Tell me when. Let's stick with that for now. Thank you, sweetie. And I actually, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I love a woman call me sweetie and honey. Oh, yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, all of the uh, glasses and masks and whatnot. And again, you're just oops, you're just really getting down into the bottom of it because the water will continue, of course, to go to the bottom. And so, in order to get the this, by the way, when you do more home batches, this with an appropriate drill is right. the way to go. Your right arm's gonna be huge. So basically, yeah. you're not gonna end up with any water at all. It's all gonna be <coughs> absorbed in. Precisely, and used in that setting process. That's absolutely right. I'm gonna try right now. I'm gonna give it a try, man. We'll see where we're at. All right. It's true that I am putting this right directly on. I say we are still almost, but still we are still not totally ready. All right, so I'm gonna do this, and you throw it at me. <laughs> <laughs> so you need uh, more water then? Or? Yeah. yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more. Do you mind, sweetie? Of course. Perfect. I'm going to stick with that. And I may end up throwing in some more lime. Point two, but we'll see. we got to have it set right. got to have it set right. How long does it take to set when it comes down? Certainly depends. When we, I just do these little bricks here. Mm -hmm. You know, after 48 hours, you're going to want to take them out of their mold because they'll get moldy. Right. Um, but on a work site, really five to six weeks is a good cure time, adjusting, of course, for the weather, for the climate. That can sometimes be a turnoff, of course, for folks because of that set time. Like 
a rain delay perhaps a rain delay or if it's just you're doing it in a rainy season um, you know or a wet season it doesn't allow it to cure and it will allow it to cure will just take longer okay. the only the only climate that you don't want hemp create in is a frozen climate okay. the water cannot freeze so Alaska it wouldn't really work anytime you get below freezing in terms of building it. You wouldn't build it in below freezing. You can build it in not below freezing in a climate that will get below freezing, but the water can't freeze. Okay. The water can't freeze. Okay. I'm going with this. I'm going with this for a brick. When I make sample, you know, balls that have to stay in a ball, that's a little bit of a different story. So sorry, you guys. Very warm. So. Mm. Yeah. Right. Is that the, uh, so now, balls? were there two? Look at that. Sweaty balls. These balls. Excellent little brick molds. Big brown sweaty balls. Don't be chopped. So the tamper. <laughs> Yeah, That's the best I like ball when I'm seeing it. Yeah, I started just watching it. I mean, it with the ghost and heavy and everything. And I'm just going to keep moving from the bottom again because we don't want that water settling. So it's lime, shiv, and water. That's it. And this is, in, in, and again, not just any lime. Oh, see, I just found a little corner that I hadn't got. You've got to avoid. Avoid your brownie batter bunches. What kind of lime was that again you were talking about? This what Body Chandra is a pre-made binder, so there's type okay. N, there's NHL5. They may add another, they may add some gypsum or something like that, but it is it's incredibly small, small volume in the okay. single percentages. So I'm very loosely getting this into my mold here. <laughs> Because in real life, we're not into tamping it all down. That just is not going to work. Well, it just seems like it wouldn't bind together. It's not the case, right? It will set. Absolutely, it will. Dump her in. Oops. Now I'll we'll just take it to set up. It depends. In your... I have a little bit too much water in there, but it'll still set. Um... It will take, we would leave this in this mold for like 24 to 48 hours. And, but on a building site, it's probably going to be about five to six weeks, but you always have to adjust for the humidity and the weather, obviously. Now I'm tamping just the exterior, not the interior. Here. And we're going to keep that, keep that interior loose in real life. Now also in real life, such as with this brick here, we might have a big timber framing coming up. Oh, hi beautiful. And in that case, we would be tamping around that timber again because we are mineralizing the cellulose. Thank you. This. And so do you always rip up your timber? Yes, you on, want to score the sides. Score of the sides and in fact the interior. Um, and in fact the interior timber. This is interesting because this might be a little wet. We'll see how this sets up. Fast is never good, but that's all we can do when we're dealing with a knitting that's over. She loves it. So, so as far as like, yeah, <laughs> this should be okay actually. And we'll just fill this puppy up same way. We're gonna build a hemp tree house. Yeah, it would be interesting, wouldn't it? I mean, depends on how heavy, right? It's certainly <laughs> lighter than concrete, but... <laughs> but not as light as well. Yeah, but I'd like to see, actually, a local builder who's very interested in hempcrete went to one of our workshops. His uncle is the guy who has that Treehouse Nation show or something. Oh, really? Yeah, so they're interested in... Interesting. Yeah, trying something and out. Here I was just, you know, making a... <laughs> no, we've been talking about That's it. Awesome. We have been talking about it. You know, someone's always ahead of me, though. Hey, know. not always, brother. And, and <laughs> hey, there's... Ideas are a dime a dozen. I get a million ideas a day, and people call me with their ideas like I didn't already have the idea. If I could have had time to implement the idea, I would have. Right. 
So just keep thinking and coming up with your ideas. Thank you. Yeah, never Because not, not everyone acts on them, man. That's you for just sure. have them. They're easy to come up with. That's what brought me here. It was an idea. Yeah. Have you achieved Have you achieved optimum Charlie Sheen level? I think I have. Or are you really still at a Martin Sheen? You know, I'm going with Charlie. The little Charlie right now? So, what, how wide is your tapper in your walls? Is it like that, like an inch and a half? No, this is when I, I explained earlier, this is what I call the workshop tamper, okay. as opposed to a real life. But the real life, it's not like they're that much bigger. It's just that they have a larger block and a block that comes to a tip so you can get into the corners. Oh, okay. But essentially, you're, you're not going much wider than that. Correct. It's actually not much wider, even a real one. Uh, now that you right. mention it, you're right because you're What's, just getting. And when you want to get around your framing, you're just right. But you want the center loose. Correct. And we would recommend. That's I mean, the reasoning for it breathe for for it to breathe is why you leave the center. Yes. Okay. More fluffy as opposed to press down. And the other thing is, not only will you not get your fluffy breathable center, but you'll end up using more material than you meant to, which is actually can mess with the whole structural design because you're making it heavier. Then you'll get to the top and you've run out of hemp and lime. Which Does it eventually set. settle to where it's an even type of brick? It sits brick? like that. You don't want it. Yeah, oh, it will okay. set just like that. Okay. Yep, you, you don't, you want to keep that middle area more of able to Separate, have that thermal capacity. Separated from it so it can take that absorption. That's where yes. it gets its R value. Yeah. Okay. Can you guys hold on for one sec? I'm just going to go deal with this. Yeah, you I went, will be right back. You went gloveless on us. You know what? Joy yeah. here. So yeah, sure. they don't work very good anyway. I mean, there's no reason to. Where's the stop button on this thing? Wanted to get it. And but that's a setup too. So. Hey Russ, how do you stop this? She took a break or whatever. Okay. All right, folks. Thanks for everybody for Periscope. Uh, we're gonna take a break here, and uh, Joy will be back with more Hemp Creek right after this.